Transition questions. This question asks you to find the most appropriate transition word that relates two sentences or two parts of the same sentence properly. So, you will be asked to choose the best transition word from four choices. Transition words such as although, therefore, because, thus, however, for example, for instance, also, moreover, furthermore, and so on. These are called transition words. I will give you four transition words, and you need to choose the best one, the one that is the most appropriate in this sentence. The transition word will either relate two sentences, so it will be in the beginning of a sentence, it will relate the sentence before it to the sentence after it, for example, or it could be in the middle of a sentence and relate two parts of the same sentence. And we're going to take a look at our example in a little while. Here's a very important note. It is very important to know the meanings of popular transition words. Transition words are not like vocabulary words. It is very, very, very possible on the test for you to have a vocabulary question where you do not understand the meanings of the answer choices or of all of the answer choices. That will happen on the test. You will not always know the meanings of all the vocabulary, vocabulary words. But for transition questions, the same transition words repeat themselves from test to test. So you have to know the meanings of these words. Super important. And I'm going to show you a few now. Today, we will learn transition question hacks, and before that, we will learn some popular transition words. Take a look. Here are some popular transition words that appear very frequently on the SAT test in the writing section. To show emphasis, to emphasize something, to stress, we can use words like clearly, surely, indeed. To make a comparison, to say that two things are similar to each other, are like each other, we can use words like just as, like, similarly, similar to, okay, and so on. To show contrast, to show that two parts of a sentence or two sentences have different or opposite meanings, we use words like although, but, despite, however. Nevertheless, to show that one part is a reason for the other, something we call cause and effect, we have a cause, the reason, and we have an effect, okay? Words like as a result, consequently, therefore, thus, because, and since. You need to memorize these words. All of these mean that there is a relationship of reason, cause and effect. Example, for example, for instance, such as, for example, if I have this in the middle of a sentence, all of these mean that one part is an example of the other. Now, there are more words that appear on the test, but these are by far the most popular. Okay? Let's take an example. Before the example, before the transition question hacks, let's look at an example to know how the transition question will look on the test. Again, no question. You see? Like grammar, punctuation, and vocabulary, transition questions as well have no question. You have the number, then you have four choices right away. Okay? How do you know that this is a transition question quickly on the test? and not a grammar question, or a punctuation question, or a vocabulary question. You know it from the answer choices. For example, however, in fact, all of these are words that we know are transition words. And the word I'm looking for here, or I'm checking is specifically, which is also a transition word. So you know from the answer choices that this is a transition question. Okay? What are my transition question hacks? Again, I do have a lot of hacks for transition questions. Some old and some new that we will be um, introducing next course and next year. 
but I did choose for you the most important transition question hacks for today. Let's go. Number one, know the meanings of each transition word. This is super important. So the first thing to do is know the meanings of each word. You have to know what each word of the four answer choices means. If you don't know one of the four, it's okay. You can still work. If you don't know two of the four, it's a little bit risky. You can start to guess and you know you're not going to do that well. If you don't know three of the four, you're in big trouble. Okay, but it is almost impossible for you not to know at least two of the four. Okay, almost impossible. And in most cases, you will know all four. So know the meanings of each word. Write them. Write the meanings. So when I look at a question like this, the first thing I would do is I look for example. I know it means example, so I write example. However means contrast, so I write contrast. In fact means emphasis, stress. So I write emphasis or just EMP, EMPH, whatever you want. Okay. Specifically means specific. For example, just something so you understand. You need to write them next to the words so you can choose properly. That's number one. Number two, look for duplicate answer choices. Duplicate answer choices are two answer choices that mean exactly the same thing. If you find two answer choices that mean exactly the same thing, both are wrong. Example. Duplicate. Duplicates hack transition questions. A A has the word therefore. B has um, however. C has also, and D has thus. The word therefore and the word thus both have the same meaning as transition words. They both mean reason, so they are both duplicates. They are exactly the same, so they are both wrong. So one of the very popular and time-saving tricks on transition questions is when you look at the four answer choices and you write next to each one the name of the relationship, the, the, the thing between them, you realize you have two answer choices that mean basically the same thing. Both are wrong right away. Duplicates hack. Okay? Number three. Look for... Positive, negative, clues in the citation. So when you go and read the sentence or the sentences, look for clues that show. If both sentences are positive, can the relationship between them be although or however? If both sentences are negative, can the relationship between them be but? If they're both negative, no. But if one is positive and one is negative, then the relationship between them can be but or although. Number four. Look for keywords in the citation. Look for keywords in the citation. So when you read the citation, when you read the sentences, 
Look for important words. Look for keywords. Sometimes you will find words that give you a hint to which transition question, which transition word you need to choose. And I'm going to show you in a little while. Transition hacks. مطلوب من حضراتكم الآتي. Number one, إنك تعرف معنى كل واحدة من الكلمات. يعني تيجي على السؤال زي ده ما ينفعش تبص تقول آه uh, specifically for example however in fact أنا عارفهم دول دول أسامي ناس معانا في المدرسة. لازم تعرف دول إيه. Okay? دول transition words. يعني for example يعني example. يعني however يعني حاجتين عكس بعض. يعني in fact يعني تأكيد. هتعرفهم منين؟ من الصفحة اللي قبل دي اللي أنا كاتب فيهم. من الحل بتاعك معايا. من الكتب بتاعتنا في الكورس العادي بتاعنا من الدكشنري من حلك للاوفيشال اس اي تي من اي حته في الدنيا هم كلهم على بعض ترانزيشنز بيتكرروا لازم تبقى عارف تاني حاجه تكتب جنب كل واحده حاجه تعبر عن المعنى بتاع الكلمه دي عشان ده هيخليك تركز قوي في الامتحان اوكي سو ده هاك 1 هاك 2 دور على دوبليكيت انسر تشويسز يعني دوبليكيت انسر تشويسز اجابتين ترانزيشن ووردز ليهم نفس المعنى ارجع معايا كده ثواني افرض لقيت اجابه فيها شورلي واجابه فيها انديد يبقوا الاثنين صح ولا الاثنين غلط؟ الاثنين غلط بيكوز ليهم نفس المعنى طب لقيت اجابه فيها جاست از واجابه فيها سيميلرلي برضه غالبا الاثنين غلط طب لقيت مثلا ذس وذير فور زي ما قلت من شويه هي الاثنين غلط ده كل ده اسمه دوبليكيتس اوكي؟ خد بالك خد بالك خد بالك انا جاي اهو والله لو انت عايز تجيب 90% من الاسئله صح في حته الدوبليكيتس اي اثنين صحاب بعض يبقوا غلط دوبليكيتس عايز تجيب 100% لازم تعرف ان في تريكس طب ايه التريك ده كل فين وفين ممكن يجيب لي حاجه يغلس بيها عليا يجيب لي كلمتين شكلهم دوبليكيتس بس ما هماش دوبليكيتس بجد وهشرح لكم ازاي ان انجلش ركزوا معايا بليز Take a look here at the popular transition words that we learned together. Remember the duplicates hack we just talked about a little while ago? We said if we have two answer choices that mean the same thing or give me the same relationship, like here they both mean reason or cause and effect, then both of them are wrong because they are duplicates. Correct? Correct. That means that if I have therefore and thus in two answer choices, they would probably both be wrong because they mean the same thing. They're duplicates. Correct? Also, if I have surely and indeed in two different answer choices, they would be wrong. Duplicates. Correct? Yes. Most of the time. 90% of the time. Every now and then there could be a trick question where you have two words that seem like they're duplicates, but they're actually not. Let me give you an example. Just as and similarly. They both mean comparison. They both signal likeness. But are they, are they exactly the same in meaning? Just as means exactly like it. They're exactly the same. Similarly means it's close to it, but it's not exactly the same. So there may be a slight difference. In most cases, I would consider them duplicates and both are wrong. And it will work 90% of the time. Every now and then, there may be a tricky question where the two words are actually not duplicates. They're similar to each other, and one of them might be the right answer. But it's very rare, very uncommon. If you want to keep an eye, keep an eye. Okay? But it's usually not going to be this way. It's going to be straightforward, easy. Duplicates are very common. Okay?